No matter if you're shooting with a full-size HD SLR with a long lens or a compact camera system with a standard lens, odds are you will get a better picture if you use a tripod. Why? Here's Will Crockett from ShootSmarter.com for some tripod tips from ProMaster. Hi, and thanks for joining me on my shoot. I want to blend my model with these really cool repeating lines, and I found some very nice light. My problem is that I want to shoot still photos and maybe a little video with a long lens and a hefty HDSLR camera. This combo of using a long lens that's hard to handhold and a beefy camera and a beefy lens and these sharp compositional lines lead me to one spot, don't they? Using a tripod. And here's a tip for you. When you're working on a tripod, set it up so that it's level, even if you're working in a spot where the ground is very uneven. It's best to adjust the legs to whatever length they need to be in order to keep that tripod super level. That way you can easily flip from shooting horizontal shots to vertical shots and have nice clean images for your still files as well as your video files. ProMaster has a wide variety of tripods for shooting still photos, video, or both, and they're priced right. Will is shooting today with the ProMaster 7450, the ProMaster Carbon Fiber T525, and the Cool Taskmaster U25, and is making some great pictures. Here's some more tips from the Pro. Sometimes I shoot in unusual places, and I don't know what size tripod or even monopod that I need but I don't want to carry three different size tripods around with me. Here's one of those all-purpose tripod kits. Check it out. It's a Taskmaster U25 that you simply unroll like this. And here you have the tripod legs that you can put a small ball head on right on top of. Or choose a center column that's light and rigid like this one, or one that's light and adjustable like this. And you can even use this cool tilt bracket to get that column off the side of the legs to squeeze into that just right spot. This comes in so handy on shoots like this one. Let me show you. I'll start this shoot with a rather long lens. It's set to 150 millimeters on a compact system camera, and I need a tripod, no doubt, to pull off a shot like this. I like this low angle from the road here, so I'm going to work with this long lens at this really cool angle. Next, I want to shoot from the edge of the barn way over there, but I don't want to mess around with three legs on a tripod in those deep weeds. So I'm simply going to unscrew the center leg of the Taskmaster, and I'm going to move this ball head right on over to it and make a monopod. Tripods and monopods can do so much for you and your photography. Remember, you want to use the lowest ISO you can to get the maximum image quality out of your camera. And I gotta tell you, it's tough to hand hold a camera in the two locations that I showed you. Like remember when we were using a long lens to get that compressed look of those pillars? Or if you see a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second or longer because you're using that lower ISO. Now both solutions and situations that we shot in are very common and those solutions end up with using a tripod or a monopod to make better pictures. For still photography, video, and everything in between, you're sure to find that just right tripod or monopod to suit your needs, your budget, and your shooting style at ProMaster.com and at your favorite ProMaster dealer.